I'd like to take a moment to talk about the most broken weapon in Terraria. That's right, the flare gun, and I say that with complete sincerity. Broken isn't it literally breaks the game, not in terms of being overpowered. The flare gun is the only reliable method that I know of at least, for reaching the projectile cap and breaking the game by preventing more from being spawned. I talked about this briefly in my video covering how I beat the game with a flare gun, but I couldn't take advantage of it very well during that challenge because, well, I had a flare gun. Bosses that rely primarily on projectile based attacks like the Moon Lord and the Light are made virtually harmless if you manage to reach the projectile cap. However, you're also subjected to the cap, and projectiles encompass a lot more than you might think. Ranged attacks, magic attacks, minions, whips, yo yo, several other melee weapons, grappling hooks, and pets all count as projectiles and can't be used when the cap is reached. The easiest way to circumvent this is to summon minions before you reach the cap, which is say about afterwards to help you fight any minions you want to kill. The Moon Lord is up first. This character is on master mode and is using spooky armor with an assortment of accessories to help damage. It's by no means heavily optimized and I just use what I had on hand. To start with, summon your minions. The Stardust Dragon and the Terror Prisma make this very simple and should be used if possible. On lower difficulties or with a heavily optimized build, you could do it with weaker minions, but high damage is necessary for the strategy because you have a limited amount of time. You want to start firing flares as fast as you can. Buy a stack of 999 gold merchant. The slower you shoot, the less time you'll have to kill the boss, so you want to make sure you're firing as fast as you can. Consider rebinding the attack key to something more comfortable than a mouse click and switching fingers as well because you'll need to press it about a thousand times. Keep track of how many flares you have left because it takes 60 seconds from the spawn in after using the summoning item which you're going to want to use when you have about 140 flares left to fire. I also like to use the sharpening station at the same time that I fire the first flare which relaxes a clock because the flares take 10 minutes to disappear. Ideally, you'll leave yourself with about 4 minutes to fight the moon lord. Once he's in the world, you can just stand still and do nothing. Since whips count as projectiles, it's a bad idea to try to use them. You'd need to have 999 projectiles and use the whip as the thousandth, which would let the moon lord attack during the downtime between springs, and the whip might occasionally stop working. Don't try it. There's only one threat, and it's an extremely small one. In his second phase, the True Eyes of Cthulhu will occasionally dash at you. Just moving at a decent speed horizontally, like running with a pair of boots, is enough to evade the attacks. Uh, this exploit will work on any and every difficulty, even for the worthy master mode on a journey world, as long as you have enough damage, because the Moon Lord's AI never changes. The Empress of Light is even easier, because her only damaging attack is an obvious and easily dodged dash. The setup is the same, summon your minions and start shooting flares. You don't have to predict when the boss will spawn like you do with the Moon Lord, and you can just place and kill the lace ring with a melee weapon after you reach the cap. Stand on a platform with pretty much any pair of wings and just sit still. When she does her dash attack, recognize her by this sound, and the animation where several after images fly around her, fall downward and then fly back up. I used the Sanguine Staff, which is quite weak for this stage in the game, especially without whip support. Most summoning weapons later in hard mode would make easy work of it like this. In both of these fights, specific armor and accessories aren't important. Just use whatever boosts your summoning damage and minion count. Menacing is the best reforge for this, and make sure you have some way to move horizontally during the moon mode and vertically during the Empress of Light. The cheese could be applied to a lot of different bosses, but very few rely solely on projectiles like these two.